hello guys welcome back to the tutorial and guys in this video i'm going to show you a beautiful color picker library that you can use in your react or any other framework that is based on the javascript a long time ago i made a video on the react color and that is also a fantastic library for the color picker but guys react colorful is just awesome because it is 13x lightweight than the react color so this is the npm package for the react colorful and if you scroll down on the bottom then you can see the comparison here so react colorful is only about 14.3 kilobytes and react color is about 143.7 kilobytes in the bundle size and the react colorful itself says that it is 13x lighter than the react color and here you can see the features so it is a small it is tree stackable that is only the components you need is imported from the library and it is also type safe so you don't have to worry about the errors in the post production so it is also mobile friendly so you can see here which companies or websites are using this component library so storybook is using it on their website and resume.io one of the most popular resume builder on the internet and and you can see the list below so let me quickly show you how you can use it in your applications so i'm going to show you by using it in a next.js application which i recently created so here I'm going to remove all the existing code. So first step is to install this component package that is npm i react colorful. And you have to open a new terminal here and just run it. And now you can see it is installed in the two seconds. So it is very lightweight. So you can see here the most basic usage and that is you just need to import this hex color picker. And this is one of the 12 color models available in the react colorful so here you can see we get the hex hex alpha rgb rgba and rgba string xsl so there are 12 including all the variants and the first one is the hex color that we are going to use right now so let's just copy it from here and i'm going to import it on the top import from react colorful and now we can just use it anywhere in our component so hex color picker and it is going to give us the default color picker so we have to use the client component to use that use client so here you can see you get the default color picker right here and we just need to center it a little bit so i'm going to put it in a div give it a class name and give it a class name of flex and flex so now it looks good and and it is not doing anything so we need to create a visualizer to so that we are picking actual color so i'm going to create a p tag here so the color here so we need to create a state here but i think const color and set color use state and by default i'm going to give it some color so let's just give it a white and just increase the size class name text is equal to 2x and margin is so here on the color picker we have to pass the on change event and we are going to set the color here so now let's try this and it actually works still you can see it is on the black side but we have the default color the white so we have to pass the color also here that is going to be default color so you can see it works fine and if you want to set it to any other color then just copy it from here and paste it in the default color and if you press it then it works fine so now that you know how to use it in your components 
you can style it however you want and put it any component you want for example resume.io is using on the top uh, you can say that a menu bar and it is using the swatches to pop the color picker so as you can see here in the viewist it is using in the sidebar so the usage is unlimited you can use it however you want and customize it however you want on the documentation itself you can see there are a lot of uh, customizations available so you can use these class names to customize the color picker so in the given example on this documentation you can see these are the customizations you can do and it is not limited to this only so in this you can see the default in the css file it is selecting the color pickers by their class names and their default class names so here you can see it is showing in the full width and this one is the smaller one and it is a custom pointer by default you get the rounded pointer but here is the custom pointer that is square shaped you can move the slider up and down and you can do many things like this so just export it yourself so in our default implementation you can see it is only outputting or giving us the color codes but what if you want to give it the color code yourself that is giving the input here you can do that too with the uh, helper component that is given in this documentation so if you come to this section how to paste your color then you can see this is the input component that you can use to paste or give the input to the color picker so if you open this demo here you can see i can type the color code here and this is done with the help of this component hex color input and you can pass the same props as you pass in the hex color picker and that's how easy it is so if you come to this section codes recipes then you can see what are the ways we can use the color picker or how can we implement it on our websites so these are the examples given by developers of this package so uh, let it open so this is the bounce or debounce if you change the color here it is going to change the color of this little box and not only give us the output color code another one is pop over picker that is one of my favorite so let it open so here you can see a little box with a color in it and if you click on this it is going to open the color picker and now you can imagine where you can use it you can use it in your nav bar you can use it in your sidebars you can use it in your uh, buttons so i like it very much so here you can see the implementation if you open the popover picker here then you can see they are creating a box here and applying a condition that is if the is open is true here then it is going to open the color picker and if you click on this button again it is going to toggle the value here from the true to false and it is going to close the color picker and you can explore it yourself later just go to the documentation and click on this pop over picker so the next one is this swatches so in this example here you can see they are creating a data set of the colors and from this data set they are mapping or iterating the swatches so if you come to this swatch picker they are using the map to render these swatches and if you want to add any swatch in this you can do that programmatically or you can just manually come to the app.js change the value here so i am going to add another swatch here by writing one two three four and if i save it then you can see the white there so guys that's it about the react colorful and i hope you now got idea about the react colorful and how to use it in your applications and if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section so thanks for watching this video i hope you really like this video and if you did so please subscribe tutorial and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial